Hello, welcome to the second in our new series of videos on monopolistic markets. In the first video, we defined monopoly and looked at some data of industries where there's lots of market power on show. This video is analysis. We're going to take you through two ways of thinking about how a monopoly maximizes their profits. So how do we find the profit maximizing price and output equilibrium for a monopolist, a firm with market power. Well, let's look at this data. Consider this demand and revenue and cost data for a monopoly. They have a downward sloping demand curve. As the price per unit goes down by two pounds per unit, the total quantity of revenue, uh, total uh, demand increases by 40 each time. You can work out the revenue by multiplying price by, by quantity. You can then work out the marginal revenue, which is always falling because uh, you're cutting the average price per unit to sell more. I've also got some data there for you on total cost from which you can work out the marginal cost of production. Uh, and then I've got some uh, data for you on um, average cost, total cost divided by output. And then you can work out the profit. Profit, of course, is the difference between total revenue and total cost. So where in this data would a monopolist maximize profit? Well, let's choose an output first of all, which isn't a profit maximizing output. At output uh, 280, a price per unit of 26, marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost. The marginal revenue of selling the extra units is 14. The marginal cost is 7. So it pays the monopolist actually to lower the price and sell more because they're getting more per extra unit than it's costing them to supply. So they'd be, it'd be worth their while, again, cutting the price to 24, for example. Marginal revenue would be 10, marginal cost 5, and you can see the profits would go up from 3,900 to 4,100. Uh, total profit is maximized when the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. Consider, for example, cutting the price from 22 down to 20. You sell 40 units more, the marginal revenue is two, because you're getting an extra 80 in revenue, so you're getting two per extra unit sold, but the costs have gone up by 80, <clears throat> from 3,700 3, to 3,000. 780 so the marginal cost of each of those units is two uh, and therefore you haven't added to or but you haven't lost profits profits have remained at 4220 so the profit maximization point is where marginal revenue equals marginal cost total profits maximized at 4220 and just to show that let's let's go a bit further let's say we cut the price from 20 to 18 per unit we sell another 40, fine, but our revenues actually go down and our costs go up. So total profit must fall. Indeed, total profits will be falling. They must fall when the marginal revenue is less than the marginal cost. Here's a practice multiple choice question. Have a go at this one. A monopolist notices that at her current level of output, her marginal revenue is £4.50 whilst her marginal cost is £3.50. Which one of the following should she do in order to maximise her profits? Just press the pause button, have a go at this question, and uh, we'll go through it together in a second. Well, in this situation, the revenue of the next unit is higher than the cost of the next unit. So should the monopolist go ahead with that extra unit? The answer is yes. And to do that, they'd have to lower the price. So the answer is A, decrease the price and increase the output <clears throat> to bring into play the potential extra marginal profit from selling the next unit. So how do we show a monopoly price and output using a cost and revenue diagram? Don't forget, a monopoly is a highly concentrated market. They have a downward sloping demand curve and uh, marginal revenue which lies below average. So a monopoly has the market power to be a price setter. They control enough of the market supply to influence price. By the way, for a pure monopolist, the average revenue curve shown here is also the market demand curve. So given these cost and revenue curves, uh, we're assuming here a profit maximizing single price monopoly that chooses an output, in this case Q1, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And they can then charge price P1 to sell that output. At output Q1, that's the cost per unit. So it looks like the monopolist can set a price above average cost, as our diagram shows. And because price is above cost, it will be making supernormal profits, abnormal profits, also known as monopoly profit. 
By the way, usually the monopolists will be operating on the elastic part of the average the average revenue or demand curve, where marginal revenue is positive. Can you see that? If they were producing output well to the right of where marginal revenue is zero, that would imply a fall in total revenue and lower operating costs. So a monopolist will always be operating to the left of where marginal revenue is zero. And there's the monopoly profit because the price they're charging is well above the average cost of output. What we'll do in the next video is develop these diagrams to get higher analysis marks and think about how monopoly profits might change.